Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Allen. And I'm Mark Clegg. We begin with brand new details just released on the Lee's Summit West football player who is also the number two recruit in the state who was arrested. Now, Cynthia Newsom joins us now. Cynthia, now you just read through all of the details on this. What have you learned? Well, what I read in this police report brings new meaning to the term resisting arrest. The taser actually didn't work and police had to use a gun. Jamon Boyd is a big guy. He is strong, too. He's six foot, four inches tall, 255 pounds. He plays defensive end on the Lee Summit West High School football team. Now, here's what happened. On Monday, school officials searched Boyd's car and found marijuana. Police were called to the school, and they tried to arrest him. Boyd resisted, so police tasered him once. The first taser hit his jacket. Then, Boyd ran into the woods to hide, trying to get away. Police caught up with him, tasered him again. Boyd never dropped to the ground. His body did lock up, and a few seconds later, police said it appeared that Boyd was going to resist again. So the police officer, fearing for his safety, pulled his handgun. And finally, that is when the 18-year-old high school senior, ESPN named the number two high school football player in Missouri, actually surrendered and was taken to jail. Now, he missed his recruiting visit to K-State, but he is not going to miss his court appearance sometime in January. And we will continue following the story and let you know exactly what happens. Okay. Quite a lot of people story. talking about yeah, it. A lot of people big, know who he is. Big yeah. out of a conversation. Thank you, Cynthia. Thanks.